I'm Owen Big Line. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Okay, I'm going to call this one Good Deal, Bad Deal. And you guys know every now and again, every quarter or so, I'd like to go onto the MLS, onto the Paragon system, and just talk about a couple of real life examples, real deals, units or homes that are currently listed or currently sold, and give you my take on them. So this one came across my desk uh, about a month ago I wanted to talk about. I'm not going to give you the specific addresses on this to protect the innocent, but, uh, but this is a uh, high quality quality uh, seven-year-old strata in Mount Pleasant, very near Olympic Village. I know this strata well because I own a unit in this building and I've also got a number of clients into this building uh, as well. But uh, this unit uh, just sold. It's been on the market. It was on the market for a long time. Uh, I think pretty close to 100 days they relisted it several times, several price reductions. It was originally listed in the low sevens, um, you know, reduced a number of times to 679, 635. It finally sold at $605,000. Now, this is a nine year old unit on an eighth floor facing west with parking, concrete, nice finishings, nice little balcony. Now, I want to point this out. I sold this exact same unit, my listing. This was, had nothing to do with me. I didn't buy this listing or, 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 or I wasn't the listing realtor. Sold for 605. I sold the unit one floor above, the exact same uh, unit on the ninth floor in May of 2022 for $720,000. This sold for 605, 720. So I got $115,000 more for my seller than what this uh, guy did for his seller. Exact same unit, one floor difference. What's the difference? Well, a few things. A, I was the listing realtor on mine, but the big thing was a number of things. It's like a cavalcade of errors here that I want to point out to you guys. We can learn from this stuff and how I do things. Um, Unit, of course, was tenanted. Tenanted on a fixed term tenancy. Guys, how long have I been going on about this? 10 years now? The biggest mistake sellers make is selling a tenanted property. And especially, it was already a bad idea three, four, five years ago, 10 years ago. To do that in today's market with the spike we've had in rental rates over the last couple of years is just catastrophically dumb. Now, not only was it tenanted, it was on a fixed term tenancy that still had something like four or five months left. So now the buyer, no matter what, has to assume this tenant. You can't get the tenant out. You have to assume them, even if you want to be an end user which I'm presuming it is in this case, because the rent was low, uh, but you're gonna have to assume that tenant and then the end user or the principal will, will take possession of it. But it is completely off limits for investors. Investors aren't gonna go near this unit. They don't want to assume the tenant at $600, dollars $800 below market rent. They can't raise the rents up. I've done this ad nauseum on so many blogs here on listing at tenanted. Of course, the units showed like shit. Uh, messy, cluttered, horrible photos. The presentation was dismal. So this is what you get. Now, what I will say, incredible buy for this buyer. Uh, I have a feeling it wouldn't have been an investor because they're not going to want to assume that tenant uh, even after the fixed term tenancy ends. They still have to keep the tenant. So they're probably going to move into it uh, next year sometime. And at 605 k they bought it below tax assessed. Uh, that unit, if they did turn around and, and, and uh, rent it, which I don't think they, they can because it's tenanted, probably rent for about $3,000 a month these days, maybe a little more. So it's crazy. I see these every single week play out on the Paragon system. And so, so many of these strata I've sold in, sold in recently and got substantially higher prices. $115,000 more for this exact same unit I got last spring. Now listen, market's a little bit off since then. We'll say two to 3%. The big thing here was presentation and having it on a fixed term tenancy. What they should have done here, I hate to keep beating a dead horse here. They should have bought this tenant out. They should have said, Mr. Tenant, you've been a good tenant. You're on a fixed term tenancy. But listen, we'll give you two months, three months to sign a mutual agreement to end tenancy and you'll be out. It's a win-win. Otherwise, we're going to sell it with you in it and it's going to be an end user anyways. Even if you're on a fixed term, once that fixed term ends, you're out. 
We'll give you three months compensation if you'll be out in 60 days. Now we can clean it up, paint, make any minor repairs. We can virtually stage it, get high quality photos, and now it's open to the full demographic of buyers, end users, and investors. And I can tell you this building, these units are only 515 square feet. It's a one small one bed. It's a true one bed with a balcony and parking. They're incredibly desirable for investors. They love these. I love buying these for my clients because again, at 605K, this will rent for $3,000 if we could put a tenant in it, which in this case we can't. So what I'm gonna do here, 2023, if you guys remember, I've talked about my best buys. It's been, it's been over 10 years since I did my best buys of the year. The last one I did, I've directed you guys to it many times. I did one in early 2013 entitled The Best Buys of 2012. And I listed about 20 homes in there. They gave you the addresses, the list price, and the selling price. And it was everything, detached homes, duplexes, townhomes. Some of them I bought, a lot of them I looked at and wanted to buy, and just some of them I saw on the MLS. I knew the strat, I knew the home, and thought they were an incredible buy. And I posted that, put my money where, where my mouth was. And of course, I've told you guys, two, three years later, some of those homes were worth five, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 more. This 2023, I think, might be another one of those years where I should put one of those together. Stay tuned. Once I get back from vacation in early January, I've got a short list here now, but I'm gonna have to do a little more research, put a bit of time into it, and list 10, 15, 20 homes in 2023 that were incredible buys. Uh, they don't come around very often. Every 10 or 12 years, I think 2023 might be it. This one is going to go on there for sure. This unit was worth easily in the low sevens if it was done right. But hey, market's slow. No bidding wars, of course, anymore. Buyers are on the sidelines waiting for more uh, clarity on the interest rates, which are done. They were done a long time ago. Uh, and we're just, uh, once they announce that they've paused and they're gonna start coming down, watch out, and market's gonna pick up again. Wouldn't be surprised if this unit goes up 50K in the next 12 months from what they bought it at. But there's a whole bunch. There's a number of uh, buildings that I've been buying in in the West End this year that normally I would have gotten into bidding wars with my buyers on those that we didn't. We were the only offer come offer night. They did holdbacks. We were the only offer and we wrote 10, 15, 20K under ask subject free because we want to get the best price. I know the strata. I've got all the uh, reports on file, depreciation report, inspections. Just had a, another one I recently, I just sold in the West End in a new building that I, or it's an older strata that I wasn't all that up on that I'm now putting on my hit list. But there's been a number of good detached homes on the east side this fall that have sold that I've been keeping an eye on. So stay tuned. I'm going to have to do a, a blog here earlier in the new year. I'll list the homes, what they sold at, and then you guys go back in 10 years and have a look at where those were at. The buyer on this one, uh, paying 605 for this, congratulations, you did very well. Mr. Seller, not, not too well. You didn't get the proper um, counsel on this. Uh, if I would have been your listing realtor, you should have called me. I sold your neighbor's unit for 715. I would have told you how to handle this. A, I wouldn't have listed it uh, around this time of year. I would have waited till next spring. Wait until your tenant is at least on a month to month tenancy for God's sake. And then, at, but I really would have tried to get you to buy out that tenant. You left 75K all day on the market, on the table, maybe more. But this is how it plays out. Do we? Do your homework when you're getting ready to list a home, folks. Interview two or three realtors. Have a, let them give you some suggestions on how to list the home, how to get you maximum price. It amazes me how many sellers are not being counseled on trying to sell a tenanted property. You see, it's easy. That's the thing. It's easy for that realtor to just list your home with your tenant in it. It's work. It takes work to negotiate this and teach you how to get the tenant out. And then you've got to wait two or three months to list it. But you'll get it back fivefold in whatever you have to pay your tenant to have them leave in the selling price. I'm Owen Big Line. Happy holidays. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.